Hello everyone and welcome back to Fortnite Advance. So today I will explain three different methods to get the new uh, Dragon Ball method. So let's start with the first method and this one is kind of the easiest one. All you have to do is just coming to this exact spot here and talk to this NBC. You can find that she actually sell the Dragon Ball mythic items for 250 gold. Sadly, as you can see, I cannot buy them because I don't have enough gold. If I have enough gold, I could buy them easily. This is the first method. And the second method, guys, is by uh, finding and uh, buying uh, the mythic item from the vending machines. But you need to find a Dragon Ball vending machine. This one's spawn rate is really high. And by the way, it's changed with the normal vending machines. So it's completely random location. Normally, you will find two vending machines at Shifty Shafts. And you will be able to buy one. Uh, for 250 gold and um, lucky me in this game I found two Dragon Ball vending machines at Shifty Shafts but normally you will not be able to find two you might find only one though if you couldn't find one at Shifty Shafts you can go to the next area which is the Sleepy Sound here also you can find two vending machines if you are lucky you might find uh, one that has Dragon Ball um yeah th this is the other one as well I was lucky this is what this is by the way was only one game and I find three Dragon Ball vending machines so it's kind of a really good method as well to find to get the mythic item and in case if you couldn't find it there you can also go to Corny Cross Land and oh by the way also you can go to Tilted Towers, uh, Shifty Shafts, all these locations had this mythic vending machine of course with a higher probability because it's not 100% and now guys let's talk about the third method the third method once you uh, get out from the battle bus make sure you glide like this don't land on the ground directly because literally uh, on the map there will be a capsule that spawn and you will be able to see all of them and you can land on them directly while you are in the air but normally these capsu capsules are appearing on the map once this timer back to zero so once you see this 50 seconds timer when it's back to zero and the first circle appears all the capsules will be showing on the map and we will try to pull one of these capsules so now let's wait for the 40 seconds and show you guys what i'm gonna go do next and as you can see guys they are only now uh three seconds two one zero the first circle will be showing and now wait the capsule will be start showing on the map yeah this is the first capsule this is the second it's moving in the far away from me so i will not follow them oh wait all the capsules are moving follow from, away from me I was again down lucky. So if you look at the map, you will be able to notice all the capsule. One, two, three. I'm gonna see. I think I'm gonna go for this capsule because I think the other. Maybe I go for for the lot for this one. I'm not sure. Should I go for this one, guys? Yeah. Oh, this one is so far away. This one though, uh, yeah. I was kind of lucky. Most of most of the time, capsules are going to the center, but now all the capsules are going far away from me. Only this one that I can follow. Yeah, you can go follow it into this direction. And also, you can see it with your eyes like this. Do you see it? So, you know where, where exactly it lands. And then, by the way, be careful because you might see other players trying to do the same method. Oh, there's people fighting there. Sadly, the capsule just landed near them. But I think it will be fine. I will get it and run away, okay? So, yeah, once you reach it just collect and you will find inside the capsule two items 